Okay, Cole came around and shot him. <laughs> Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Sugar, and welcome to This is the Police, which we're going to go straight into. As you can see, I'm having a quick check to make sure it works. I've enjoyed the first day or two. Let's get into it. Yes. So it is a bit of a story thing. Okay, Mayor Rogers, sex maniac, Mark War 2 to be shown in Freeburg. City all confirms rumors of Jack Boyd's resignation. So when I first played this game, I thought I had to click to make him turn the key. Yes, that gives you an idea of what was going on. So, it's just gonna be... so things are still happening. There when we go. I was a kid. My father sometimes told me at bedtime that if I closed my eyes and didn't open them for a long time, all the demons would blow away. Yesterday I turned 60, but I still take his advice. Not because I'm sentimental or want to keep the memory of my father alive. I just can't think of a better solution. To get away from all the demons that haunt Freeburg, I'd need to wear a blindfold 24-7. Plus it's a good idea to act blind when talking to reporters. At least that's what my colleagues say. They're afraid of press conferences. But for me, it's more like a confessional. No matter what lies you tell, you're privately thinking the honest answers. It helps me remember who I am. The fact that I'll be reading all about it in the papers tomorrow is a small price to pay. Call it penance for the preacher. So, you're the chief of police, and you're being made retired because of the sex scandal with the mayor, and you're his friend. This is the first time I'm afraid of those answers my mind has given me. Not because I'm mad I'm losing my job. Though it's true, I'm mad as hell. Not because I subconsciously blame everyone else. Though I damn sure do blame them. And don't even ask me what my next move is. I can't imagine. But even that doesn't scare me. The worst thing is, I know I'm going to have to do something, and I'll be damned if I know how far I'll go. I may have a lot of vices, but predictability isn't one of them. Okay, so we're doing the press conference where we're talking about things, so there's an embargo on this- I a oh. long time ago how to drive away the swarming demons. But what do you do when they're trying to rip your soul from your skin? Kill them. Shutting my eyes tight as I can. The best solution remains the same. Play blind. I just hope the reporters think I was blinded by the camera flash. Has he stopped talking? Okay, so there's an embargo on this game. At the time of me releasing it, it doesn't officially come out until a week later. I can talk about it and play it, but I can only go up to day 80. Although... As I don't release that many episodes a week of most games, we're probably not going to hit the embargo date as it is. We'll just keep up the other bits of play as it is. So, yes, an embargo of 80 days. Yes, anyone's off the National Nation, it's coming to surprise, you know about it in advance. Ah, uh, I may have discussed it with. Oh, surprise! Oh, five, seven years. I actually clicked surprise. Oh, well. Do you already know the name of your successor? I think it's a new man. Fresh minds, take a fresh look at the problem. After the recent corruption scandal, he left to Francis Kennedy said he was looking forward to resigning. If the mayor in your position, would that change his mind? Uh, no. He's made up his mind to leave. I don't see that affecting anything. Although Kendrick was acquitted, but he still believed that the police are cooperating with the mafia. Do you have anything to say about this? Oh shit, I don't know if it helps the police. I don't know. So there's all a black and white answer there. There's no good or bad. The one bit I played gave me a very difficult choice to play, which is probably going to come up now. Considering the recent events, it's probably going to be quite an ambitious one. You think your personal relationship with the mayor could be the reason behind your retirement? Uh, yes. Of course there is, and personal relations are always important. So yeah, there's going to be some really difficult decisions you have to make, because obviously this is a end of days retirement thingy. So yeah, that's going to come up, and I'm going to have to make it. And if it's the same one which comes up again, that's going to be difficult for me. Mr. Boy. Same as usual. How did the press conference go? You can read about it in the newspapers tomorrow. Don't let anyone in. Even Mr. Kendrick? Especially Mr. Kendrick. So I played just enough to get through a bit of the tutorials. And find a difficult decision. Which is lovely! I love difficult decisions in games. All political and all that. So no matter what I do, it's going to look bad on me. 
That's going to be fun. Headache pills? I also skipped through the beginning of this, so I didn't know any of this stuff, because I thought I'll try it without, you know, ruining any story for me. Because I'd love for you guys to see my fish! An open experience! As soon as I heard the door creak, I knew what face I'd see. When I tell Emma not to let anyone in, there's only one man it could be. Rude, arrogant, no warning. That's Mayor Rogers in a nutshell. White summer shoes, white socks, white shorts, white polo shirt, and the white smile of a hungry shark. He has no face. Mayor Rogers enters every room like he owns the place. Even the floorboards under his feet sound like they're creaking an apology. That's the mayor? He never shied away from the odd corruption scheme. It's like the devil walks behind him. In the movies, the villains controlling the city play golf with the judges. Rogers plays tennis with them instead. Tennis gear! That's about the only difference. Jack, I was hoping to catch you after the press conference. You, uh, you ran away so quick. There's no smoking at City Hall. No reason for me to hang around. Well, this morning I signed a ban on smoking in all public buildings. Soon you won't be able to smoke here either. Well, thank you. Soon enough I won't be here at all. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. The people of this city like you, Jack. The police chief of all people. <laughs> Don't, uh... Don't betray that, Jack. Don't get wrapped up in any schemes. Schemes, eh? Sit nice and quiet for the next 180 days, and uh, and you'll be remembered as a hero. That's the only thing that you still have left. Be the hero. So as you can see, there's now schemes you can do. How to scrape together a retirement fund? Oh, God. You had a million chances to secure a luxury pension. One that even I would have envied, although I've never set aside any money for myself. I'm not planning to retire anytime soon. So I can do devious things. Never got that far. Just policing. 180 days of quiet, Jack. That's all I need. I don't have any problems with you, and you won't have any problems with me. This could go interesting. So I didn't know this part. Like I said, I, I skipped the cutscenes. Troy Star, if you have something to tell me, call him. But try not to bother him. He's a he's a busy man. <laughs> Is he mafia? I'll do my best. So yeah, you basically manage a police station until you get more and more things to do. Office. One of my friends will be using Ooh. it soon. Oh, oh! I'm gonna screw you over big time. I'm sorry, babe. Only the mayor has this number. Mr. Mayor? Yeah, is this Look, Troy he has no nudity being shown. Yes. Go fuck yourself, Troy Star. Ha! So, no nudity shown. I don't have to do anything with that portal. I'm probably still going to do it over anyway, just in case. Civil Service Ray, so one day two. Yeah, I probably have to still. Edit that bit out just in case because I know people get a bit weird this kind of thing, but it should be completely fine regardless. We'll see. I'll make a decision. Cops don't use the police station cafeteria anymore. There's some kind of stigma against sitting shoulder to shoulder with your partners. Really? Everybody just takes snacks from the machines or grabs a meal and hammers it down in the corner like a vulture on a corpse. The main thing? Don't look into anyone's eyes could be construed as an invitation to sit together. The only people eaten here are ghosts. My deputy, Francis Kendrick, he recently became one of those ghosts. The subject of one of the most devastating corruption scandals in the history of Freeburg. Yeah. No evidence to support the accusations, but everyone knows Kendrick's days are numbered. I see. I need that file I asked for. Needs to be ready tonight. Francis didn't say anything, but I understood. Ghosts aren't supposed to talk. Besides, I got a feeling he was already finished. So he's the corruption thing, not the mayor. Oh, I see. If it's my deputy, it's got to be me as well. Okay. Would you like to see a talk to you? Of course. Should we have got? Okay, Freeburg. 
I'm just going to keep this up. I'm going to skip the bits I already know. So these are the police. I'm just going to have moles and things. But you basically put your police onto jobs. And they come and go. The higher this score here, the more powerful they are. As you can see, this guy's got five. So he's going to die. This guy has 250. So yeah, not too good. And obviously there'll be calls coming in. Obviously I'm just skipping through things. Like I said, I know about this. So this is a hit and run. So what I want to do is, I want to send in Yancey, I'll send in Price. If they fail, they lose stuff. If they do well, they gain stuff. Actually, if we put in Kochi, you see this little star, um, strip here? That means they have a ranked officer. Ranked officers give more experience to other people and make the team work better. Of course, I now have two of my six people working on that one case, which means I only have four people left for other cases. It's like this, there's a fight. Let's send in Austin and Purdy. I don't have to send in the full amount, but it's sometimes best just in case. It's basically the game. There's more stuff comes in as time goes by, like I say. Next few days will slowly teach me how to play the game. But yes. So hopefully this has gone well. Oh, Storm. It's a run report. Did we capture him? Okay, we caught it. That means these guys are going to go up. Good, see that? 15, 260. If we didn't capture, it'd lose 10 and we'd probably have Price quit. I'm not quite sure what happens if we get to less than that. Like I said, he played a couple. Okay, caught him! Civilian killed. Ah. See that? Minus 10 because a civilian died. If I'd lost the um, perpetrator, I'd probably have lost even more points. Uh, okay, we'll close that for now and put Kochi back on it. Okay, what's this? This is an armed robbery. Sending Kochi and Tsubaki. This is a fight. We're sending Yancey and Price. I'd rather have my more senior officer on this bloody case. Oh, so this is how it goes. and You get better and better or worse and worse. And it occasionally throws curveballs at you. Like the one I keep on alluding to. Salt in the ghetto. I've only got Purdy and Austin. A third person. Oh, that's going to be a bad one. I need a third person, eh? We'll find out how well I'm going to do there. So, going in, hoping for the best. Officer on scene. Looks like we have a situation. Okay. Armed robbing the suburbs. Uh, gives you an option as things happen. Sneaking through the open window. Off the court, off and harmed. Yes, no injuries. How are we doing on the fight? Officer caught, officers and harmed. No civilian deaths. Price leveled up a little bit more. This is basically how the game plays out. There's other stuff thrown in, but yeah, you're sending out officers who can also, you know, try and do all sorts of weird things. You don't know their life stories. Anything could happen. Come on. Offender escaped, officers and harmed. Minus 10. So that makes them a bit worse for the next thing you send them out on. Which obviously isn't good, which means you need more senior officers, as it were. And that's the day gone. If you think you need to come extra hands, why can order any cop come in the next day and work every time they're working flat out, they'll be more exhausted. Okay, they're fine. Shift B and shift A. Looks okay. Yeah, we're done. Okay, end the day. I'm fine. So you can only have up to 16 to officers. When I asked Kendrick to stay late at the office, he liked to grumble and crack wise. Nowadays, he doesn't have the strength for it. Slumped shoulders, blank stare, wrinkled skin. The past few weeks, I don't hardly recognize my old friend. In his younger years, he reminded me of a gallant royal officer in an old Kipling story. Kendrick isn't just crumbling under the weight of the public pressure, but from the shame of it all. So I watched this bit. Raided the library he inherited from his grandfather. And I didn't understand it. So now I know. Cash stashed in the pages. Heard about the look on his face. The fearless policeman standing helpless in horror. Poor guy. I've known Francis for 30 years. The past 20 years he's played loose with the law. Really? And I know that at a certain point every stolen dollar... Okay, and he watched the first two scenes. It's it is. Probably sounds crazy, but... I sympathize with the guy. What can I do? Your friends are your friends, and these are the waters we swim in. 
called all of the people on that list today. Now they know you're in business. So you could get a call from any of them. You don't need to worry about any of them. I've cleared them all. And what kind of business are we talking here? It's nothing too serious, just like you asked. Should be just a few small favors. Payments will vary depending on the situation and who you're dealing with. How hmm. much are you looking to earn? Half a million. Half a million? Why not a whole million? Because everybody wants to take a million. Figured I'd try something huh. different. Okay. Half a million in 180 days? Well, you could earn it all above board if you netted all the big fish and hit all your bonuses. Really Never now? You for a fisherman. Well, you never got into my business, and I'm not trying to get into yours. But be careful about bringing in any other cops. Sooner or later, they'll put the finger on you. Okay. And, and one more thing, Jack. I remember what you said, but I should probably add one more name to that list. Christopher Sand. Sand. It's getting deeper. Christopher G. Sand. Everyone knows the name, but few could tell you who he is. The old man stays away from the spotlight. Always wears old-fashioned jeans and knitted sweaters. Gives to charity. Rarely attends social events. An avid hunter, I hear. Even dabbles in poetry. You'd never guess he's the head of the oldest and most powerful gang in the city. Goes back as far as his great-grandfather. And Sand is strict about following the old rules. He rarely involves himself in commonplace murders and robberies. Hardly needs to intimidate anyone to get his point across. The people who work for him each have their sphere. They provide protection where needed, even work with the authorities when they want to make a deal. Meanwhile, Sand pulls the strings without getting his hands dirty. People sometimes mistake his quiet approach. A couple years ago, an arms dealer decided to expand its business oh, without asking permission. God. And his whole family paid the price. Jesus. In four weeks, Sand killed 31 people. Old men, women, even a few teenagers. And Sand's people made sure every paper... I bet they bloody it. did. Frank, I don't want to hear you say that name again. Jack, please, listen to me. I'm in with these guys. We agreed, Frank. That's not the kind of business I'm into. I don't go there. Never have, never will. Oh, This is going to be a difficult decision, isn't it? We've got mini crimes, major crimes, and doing it above board. Francis Kendrick announced his retirement date. Legendary singer. Cinema Museum postponed again. God damn it. So, I need to make half a million in 180 days. I can do it above board and below board. So... People will ask for days off for all sorts of reasons. I was up all night reading an exciting text to the last temptation of Neptune. Uh, no. Uh, yes, but come tomorrow. My funeral, my da yes, but come tomorrow. Because I can level up people. So let's give Robins a promotion. And let's give a double promotion. This also makes them more powerful. Okay, so I've let two people off, I think. I can't remember now. So I can put music on. Is any of this music actually allowed? I don't know if any of this music's allowed. I don't know if I can play any music I'm not too sure of. It's like, oh, is there any of this copyrighted? Because this sounds copyrighted to me. That's loads of high and fire cops. Well, let's play it anyway, and if there's any problems with the stuff, we'll find out. Okay, affairs. Police station, as you can see, there's a lot more things ready to open. Labour market. So, I'm going to pay job openings. So, I'm going to obviously hire him. Okay, he's okay, he's 250. I have 13 or 14. Hire for shift B. Personnel. But if it's not, fire someone. Okay, so as you can see, you can fire people. 
Legally or illegally? Didn't come to work, had to work drunk, too old, failed three assignments in a row. But yeah, see, you can fire anyone you like illegally, but there are consequences. So we're now firing our oldest person because it told me to. Fun. So we're going to send him in with Grant Vandalism. Well, we only have five people you may have noticed, more than six, because obviously two have days off. And one I just didn't turn up. Let's check the police station. We have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to hire another person. Okay, let's hire you for shift B as well. Don't know anything about these people. There could be any kind of people. Okay, Atticus Tower, we have Vandalism. That's in Birch Jr. and Robbins. That leaves us only Samady left. That could be a problem. So I'm not entirely sure about the music. So if I have issues with the music, we'll find out. Of course, I'll find out tomorrow. But I'll release this, which for you will be today, obviously. Okay, police say, offender court, officer unharmed. Perfect. Oh, Stovall, I'm firing you. Don't want to, but I am. 20 seconds. Suspicious individual. Gotta get back in time. Vandalism reports, what we got? Offender court, officer unharmed. Yes! So I want to send Samadhi and Grant out on this one. Come on. So as you can see, I'm being very tactical right now because I don't have the people for anything. I mean, Stovall's good enough on his own that if he has a problem, it doesn't matter. Also, he's going to get fired soon because it made me fire my oldest sergeant. What's this? King Lewis Nightclub. Okay, let's friend Birch Jr. Okay, you're looking after the bet. You're a bouncer for the nightclub. Good on ya. Do, 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 do. Suspicious individual. We've hired off as a Frank Nero. Okay. False alarm, but it could have been worse. Also, it looks to me like it doesn't do random missions because these all look like they've happened before my brief playthrough. I think it was like day four. I can't remember how it went now. God, Jag Nabbit. Remembering things would have been useful. But yeah, it looks like the same stuff happens in the same order. What's this? Suicide threat. Oh god, go Sam with it, go Grant. But we're going in and we're doing awesome things. Let's do this. So do we have two people back at base? Don't think we do. We have Birch Jr. over there. Sam Sorkin. Sorry, Chief, but I quit. In one night, I had more cash than I got in a month working for the FPD. Well, it made money. See, I have... Let's see, take the clown. Carefully wash the clown for streets. Cover the rainbow to be an illicit customer. We caught him. The clown was a drug dealer. So I have money here. I can actually hire people, obviously, but I'm trying to... Offender escaped. Ech. So I'm trying to get as much money as possible, obviously. Which means I could spend money, but I want to get as much money as possible. But yeah, it's going to get worse and worse. Half a million? Robespierre, do you think when the time is right? Enemies using feminists to destroy... En enemies using feminists to destroy Freeburg. I read that right. Feminist organisation denied official registration. That's a thing. Like I said, it gets hard hitting. Whenever I'm alone at home and there's a knock at the door, I always hope it'll be my wife, Laura. She's always forgetting her keys. Hello, my name is Steve, and you're Jack Boyd, is that right? <laughs> to get to my front door, the Bible boys walked about a mile from the local bus stop, jumping over mud puddles and skirting a couple of landfills. Laura doesn't go in for religion either, but according to her, these brave lunatics with their fake smiles deserve at least a minute of attention. She patiently listens to them, asks them questions, regales them with pastries, and never once dropping a hint of condescension. When I watch her do it, I've got to admit it gets me. I'd have hugged those boys, sat with them on the porch and lit up a cigar. But a month after Laura left, all I could do was quietly ask them not to bother me. Today oh, I'm no. a little rougher still. Shut the door on his nose this time. 
No one left you. Weeks at this rate, and I'll be greeting anyone who comes close with my service pistol pointed towards the sky, ready to fire my warning shot. That's a hello. That is a hello. In my life, even the basic stuff never goes like it's supposed to. Normally, when a wife is going to leave home, she'll make a scene or at least sit everyone down for a serious conversation. But Laura just disappeared. The children in the stories always stand on the side of the mother, but all three of our sons supported me. Huh. The in-laws always blame the husband for making their daughter unhappy. But now Sally, Laura's mother, well, we sort of have a pact. The fellow Laura ran off with is young enough to be her son. I hear he's 30 years old. Of all the possible information a man can know about his wife's lover, I get hit with that. Fortunately, Laura's mother doesn't like the way it sounds either. Sally figures this guy just thought he'd have some fun with a mature woman, but he'll be back chasing college girls before the year is oh, out. Oh, be fun. So we have an agreement. Sally's gonna track down Laura and try to reason with her, and we'll arrange a meeting. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to not do anything stupid. Oh, joy! Of course means anything at all. It's a crazy situation. I'm the police chief, and the person I'm trusting to find my wife is an old woman armed with a phone book. It's gonna get but difficult. I can't afford to lose Sally as an ally. So for the moment, I had to swallow my pride. Hello. Mrs. Markham, this is Boyd. Oh, is there any news? That's what I wanted to ask you. Have you found anything? An address? Phone number? Have you spoken to her? Don't worry, Jack. I've narrowed the range to two suspects, or whatever you like to say at your police building. At my police building, we find people faster than oh. a funny old woman chirping on the phone with my wife's girlfriends. Oh, you're an old man, Jack. Come to your senses. They'd give us straight odds on the street. But I've got more energy, Jack. Maybe you think I'm a foolish old woman, but I go to my book club, argue with the girls about Byron, and it gives me energy. I talk to my dogs, and it gives me energy. And you have nothing, Jack. You don't even have a hobby. You got no passion. It's Ooh. why Laura left you. Let's not go back into that, Sally. Find my wife, and we can discuss my hobbies later. I'm waiting for your call, and my patience is running thin. Laura, if you've stopped loving me, I'll let you go. I can't expect the impossible from you. Just don't let me die out here, okay? Let him know. Let him know what you're doing, woman. I skipped that bit as well. So I think when I was doing my test, I got through this day and then I gave up on it. But we'll see. My kids have been causing trouble. Can you give me some, can you give me some time to do this? Yes. There's a new movie out today. In fact, uh, no. Uh, yes. Okay, we've let two go. We have six people. Okay, I still don't know if this music's okay. Let's go with this again. And then we'll see if we get copyright struck in the actual video. So we're going through with this. Fire all black cops. This is what I was talking about. A racist gang have recently made some trouble in the city. They're capturing black towns people and beating them to death. They recently sent a message to a local radio station promising to kill all black doctors, firemen and police. We don't need any more dead police, especially not mere months before the election. The racists are getting more and more followers and even some of our citizens support them. You'll have to fire all your black employees for the next two days due to mounting racial tension. So either fire them illegally or I don't and there's a much slight chance they'll get shot. Also, we now have detectives. So detectives, he took the property. So as detectives get involved, they obviously start searching for things. Okay, so I'm gonna do this now, tell him it. So you put a detectives on this, and obviously they learn things. So the more detectives you have on there, the better chance you have to figure out what's going on. Let's go back to this, let's put Kochi on here, and take Price. Birch is our newest person, he looks depressed as hell. So we'll go through this day, and then end it. And then hopefully we'll see if we've actually got copyright struck or not. We'll find out. Together. If indeed anyone actually watches it, we'll find out that as well. Carjacking. Let's send in Yancey and Birch. And Austin as well, just in case. We have three people left. 
Investigation has started. Are we going? Okay, we've got sequence. So, all we know so far is they walked out their door and they got shot. Please don't know anything. Don't remember the car. Neighbour's quiet. Okay. Give that time. He has alcohol problems. Okay, I'm learning things. Unknown. Two failed assignments, Linda. We can fire them after three. Offender caught. Officer unharmed. Good. So we have to fire. We have to fire Purdy. We have to fire Purdy. It's suspicious. Affairs. Can we hire someone new? We need a new poli police officer. Join the professionalism. Hire for shift A. Backlog. Fire all black. Yeah, that one's going to be a difficult one. I'm not, I don't really want to do that one. I need my officers. Some of them are pretty damn useful. Austin, how, how useful are you? Unknown. Suspicious individual. Go in Song and Subaki. Driver there to be seen. Wait a safe distance for driver to appear. Wait a safe distance for driver to appear. Got him! Yes! That was the right decision. So decisions like that are difficult because you're never quite sure we're doing it right. I have two days to either hire or fire everyone and I really don't want to do that. But if I don't do that, people might die. We're about to find out if I made a stupid mistake very, very soon. We caught the individual. Officer unharmed. Yes. Suspicious worked. Kazuki Tamura. Mr. Boyd, I'm opening the Freeburg's first martial art club. Go and have a look, Price. Be awesome. Teach him a few tricks. Maybe that will help him out on the streets. Hopefully he learns something awesome. As you can see, the days go by fast, but the decisions are difficult. And this is literally as far as I got, because I remember that one. I remember this, the Black Cops one. Oh my god. I can't just fire them all to stop them being shot? But if I don't shoot them, they might... I mean, don't... Oh, if I don't fire them, I might get shot, but I don't... Oh. Like, open the investigation, we have... They get it wrong last time, a good cock of fact from fiction. Okay. So that obviously went there. That went there. Drug Lord. Okay, Carl came around and shot him. But which order was it? They obviously went there. Did they, did they shoot him and drive off? Oh, no. Okay, we're going to leave it like that, I think. They came around the building. That's my guess. We don't know. But we'll soon find out. As soon as Price is done, we will end it. Kevin, oh, Kevin's throat bar fight. Going Kochi and going Yancey. Don't remember that pod. Kazuki Tamara, Chief. I just about nailed the jab a couple of times. It's too fast for me. Good. Price, you just gained a hundred for that. Good. Price is now one of my more powerful guys. Purdy. Fair assignments is still two. Purdy needs to do something. Seems to have alcohol problems. We'll have to check out on Song. I don't really want him to have alcoholic problems. Birch, you're fine. Okay, Kochi and Yancey are doing stuff. How's the fight go? Come on. No deaths. Yes! Successful day! End it! So yes. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen next, but I have been the Fallen Shogun. If you enjoyed this, as always, like, comment, favourite, share, and subscribe. There'll be more This Is The Police. We'll be playing for a few days at the very least. But remember, if you enjoyed it, as always, like, comment, definitely share, definitely subscribe. If you comment, I will read it. I know I said that twice, but I will read all comments. And remember, if you do subscribe, you become part of the Fallen. You know when new episodes and series come out. And at the end of the last battle, I will see you in Valhalla. Ciao for now, people. Bye-bye. Ben Little Fallen Shogun's case. Winter is coming around the corner. This future's not looking bright. Oh, what are these strange creatures? Are they circus performers? Indeed they are. They're traveling the country, heading southwest. All carriage fleeing from the ship like rats from a sinking ship. I said ship too often, didn't I? Oh, the front lance fired. Was it a lance? It's a heavy prow lance. No, not a front, it's a prow. It's on the prow of the ship. Sometimes it's work.